I want to ask you, you know, I'm, I'm going to go out of order here. Did we ever have beef? I feel like I don't know that we ever had a direct Not beef. Not we ever had beef. I, I mean, I oh, made but, some videos that you guys didn't, that you didn't like, and you were pretty critical of them. But when people criticize the work and not you, mm -hmm. I think it's a, it takes a really weak person to take that personally. Mm. Especially because, like, you kind of had a lot of points, mm. you know? Like, when I did something that was... Which ones are we talking about? Because I, I... Well, like, the, 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 the Hillary, Hillary video. Yeah. Hillary video. Like, I thought right. you and Phil had really smart, critical responses to that. And I think both of you guys were right. Mm. Mm. I was going to ask, in retrospect, looking back on the Hillary vid, do you still stand behind that video especially everything that's transpired since then you know well i think one i think you you asked me that like right after i made it mm. and you gave me like really you ethan gave me like really smart me? feedback yeah you because you were like you know i voted for hillary clinton that's true yeah and so <laughs> I, I mean yeah like i i really think that the way i and this is true for that video politics and just sort of everything in general it's like that's why the hot take is so dangerous right yeah. it's like when you let emotions lead instead of letting rational thought yeah. lead so i mean if i'm gonna get really into the weeds on that when i look at a video like that like what was my goal mm -hmm. my goal was to sort of share my perspective with my audience why i felt that way and hopefully compel them to try to empathize with my perspective mm -hmm. okay that's the goal mm -hmm. and then you back out of there and you're like, what's the most effective way to accomplish that goal? And that's where I think I really made a mistake. Like, I don't think my video was effective mm -hmm. because it was too, I was too like upset and angry and emotional when I made that video. Mm -hmm. And I think those sort of emotions turn people off. And I think a more right. effective way would have done that's it true. to have done it would have been like to volunteer my perspective, which I did in that video wrong, but I, mm -hmm. everything I said in that video about how I feel about yeah. Um, the president, I, I still feel that way. I think yeah. A lot of those things have really netted out. Um, he's kind of been the, you know, the person that I foresaw him being. Um, so I could have been, there was a much more effective way to present that. Right. And I also think like in that effective way of presenting that, like, and what made it so complicated, I was never like a fan of hers. She sucked. No one right. was. No that one was. was. And that was what, that's why I think I was so frustrated. Yeah. Was it wasn't like, look, here's this amazing candidate right. that yeah. you guys should all know about. And here's this other guy who's not good, and here's why he's not good. Mm. I couldn't say that. Mm. And I'm, I'm not defending yeah. what I said. For, but. for the people that aren't, don't understand the context, Casey made a video back during the last election. You had basically said, vote for, for Hillary mm -hmm. because... Trump it was, was less. It was. It was. Don't vote for Trump. Yeah. Don't. And here's why. But that wasn't the part that got me in trouble. But you had think. a sense of urgency. I had a sense of urgency, and, and like, I also was like really you said, frustrated. Emotional. I was emotional, but I was also really frustrated then with the YouTube community, uh. because the community at large, like given, the pro, Trumpers who I respect and I understand. I my dad voted for Trump. I have no beef with people who who have different political positions than mine. But the pro Trumpers were really intimidating leading up to the last election. Like I know yeah. about. You mentioned one thing on Twitter. You get attacked, and that yeah. sucks. Oh, that's still true. It's still true. And even just saying, like, even if I'm like, yeah, I voted for Hillary last, which I, I readily admit to. It's not, like, secret, but yeah. um, people, the pro-Trumpers are fucked. Yeah, they're crazy, and it's scary. Bro. And it's scary. They're, they're the craziest people out there. Yeah. And I see your point. I feel like a lot of YouTubers, probably including us, are feeling like it's better to not take sides because you're going to divide your audience. Yeah. And that felt that was upsetting for me because, like, yeah. I guess looking that was back, a thing for a while. I, I think where, where you were coming from and I can see maybe I'm putting words in your mouth. Correct me if I'm wrong. But like it almost is like cowardice in a way, because mm -hmm. truly the reason that a lot of people I'll, a lot of the reason that you don't want to get involved in stuff like that is because you don't want the heat. Because you know that the people are just so, uh, so divided, so on it. deadly. They're just no, not even that. But the people that oppose you are yeah, just really so scary. bitter, mm -hmm. and they're so relentless, mm -hmm. and they will try to ruin your life for opposing them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's is a it combination it? of yeah, is it worth it of even mm -hmm. going there? But that's their goal, right? Is to make it unworth. Un yeah, and I think yeah. I felt I, I was like I felt like that at the time. You was, want you want it to be like. Screw these guys. Yeah. It was more just like, look, if you if you have an opinion, if you don't have an opinion, I get it, no big deal. But if you have an opinion and you're scared to share it because you're scared of the repercussions, you are doing a disservice. Mm -hmm. And I think like the way I just said it right here just now, like that's a diplomatic appropriate way of saying it. 
And I think in that video, it lacked that kind of diplomacy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was right about it. So looking back, do you see that as a like a big moment in your career? Like, how do you how do you perceive it? Looking Not back, really. At I the mean, time it was a big. It felt like a big deal, right? Maybe I guess people took made a quite a big thing about it. I mean, I I jumped on that. I talked about it. I mean, a, a lot of people talked about it. But um, it's the kind of thing that people also move on, no? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I guess it also is just like. I mean, politics is such a divisive thing, and for it's it's largely absent, I think, within the YouTube community, except for the political channels, which are so political mm -hmm. yeah. on both sides. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think Phil DeFranco has like one of the only really kind of fair down the middle, like apolitical shows. Mm -hmm. But when you look at like the Young Turks, or you look at you know the more conservative Info Wars, yeah, Info Wars, it's they're both super. They're they're really far on one side exactly. of the spectrum. That's right. That's but you right. kind of have to because it's like. You got to get your people, and you got to like kind of preach to the choir in that mm -hmm. sense. I mean, nobody really, uh, <laughs> nobody wants to listen to the fair and balanced guy. They want their their views validated. They want their they want to be a part of the community, and they want to, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like C you got CNN, you got Fox News. Yeah, I, I this whole thing with Mueller's or not Mueller. He's he's old news now. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Ukraine the, uh, whistleblower. the whistleblower. The whistleblower. So I'm I intentionally put on. I switch between CNN and Fox News because that's I want, what I do. I want to <laughs> I do the same exact. I'm thing. like I'm really curious what they're saying over it's on Fox. It's important to understand both, and it's just, uh, but it's like that, you know. It's just shocking. The perception is so different. It's so. I mean, it's like I also my favorite thing to do with pol uh, with podcasts rather is like I'll listen to a really liberal podcast. You know, like Crooked Media has some great podcasts, but then whatever I'm listening to on that, I thumb through like Ben Shapiro mm -hmm. and find him talking about the same subject matter. Mm -hmm. And I find that like unless you expose yourself to really the extremes on mm -hmm. both sides, it's hard to get an understanding of what other people think. Yeah, yeah. And I do yeah. want to. I, I do value very much. You have to really understand their argument if you're going to empathize with them in any mm -hmm. meaningful way.